Hi, it's Ananda from Vital Natural Online and I haven't done a video in a while so you may have noticed something different about me. If you can't, I'll leave it to you to work it out. In any case, I'm here today to do a review. Uh, it's a review of a uh, nutrient product rather than a skincare product. But of course, it is. Uh, it directly relates to skincare. Um, this product is Skin B5 and it's Acne Control Extra Strength Tablets. Now, I came across this product by chance, um, and I'm glad that I did because it's an excellent product. It's got some good clinical research behind it and some great testimonials, which means that it's working um, when people are taking it. It's working so well that they're actually coming back to tell you about it. Okay, so uh, Acne Control Extra Strength Tablets is basically a... Uh, sorry, it's a tablet that's really high in B5 plus some other ingredients. So I'll first read out the ingredients and then I'm going to talk about each ingredient and why it's relevant to acne control in particular, but also excellent for oily skin, skin renewal and skin repair. Okay, so first of all it's got uh, calcium pantothenate, which is essentially vitamin B5. It's uh, 500 milligrams. Zinc gluconate, um, which is equivalent to 5 milligrams of zinc. Copper gluconate, equivalent to 250 micrograms of copper, silica, which is 5 milligrams, uh, vitamin A, uh, which is 105 micrograms, small dose, so it's safe for use, uh, nicotinamide or vitamin B3, 125 milligrams, folic acid, 80 micrograms, and biotin, 330 micrograms. Um, those doses are reasonable, but the actual recommended dose is two tablets three times a day. So that's actually six tablets a day. That's a therapeutic dose. So that's the dose that you actually take when you want to get the acne under control rather than to maintain a healthy level or a healthy stage that you're going through. So high dose, but therapeutic dose. Not too much, but enough to get the job done. Okay, so the first and primary ingredient and probably the, what this um, formulation is based on is the pantothenic acid or the vitamin B5. Now there's some good research around vitamin B5 and some good testimonials as I said. Um, vitamin B5 has some, some couple of really important roles when it comes to uh, skin and skin health. It's a precursor for essential fats or, or fatty acids um, and lipids, phospholipids, cholesterol, hormones and neurotransmitters, all which use fat to keep us going. Um, so at high doses, the research has shown that it can decrease pore size and help decrease acne by regulating fat, fats, fatty acids and hormones. And it does this by coenzyme A synthesis. And um, that's a process in the body or a biochemical pathway which B5 influences and supports. But essentially, the body produces androgens when coenzyme A levels and vitamin B5 levels are low. Now the thing about androgens, and if you've done any reading about acne, is androgens promote sebum and they promote increased fatty acid production which is excreted via sebum. So the more androgens you have in the body, the more oily your skin's going to be due to this excess sebum production. An example of an androgen is testosterone. Um, what happens when your skin's excessively oily and there's excessive sebum production is increased bacterial overgrowth on the skin, which can then lead to congestion, block pores, and uh, acne, and the production of acne. So with low B5 levels, you tend to pe see people with unbalanced fatty acid levels in their body or distribution in their body, so oily skin and acne breakouts. By increasing the levels of B5, it increases the coenzyme A production and therefore reduces androgen production. So it will reduce testosterone and help balance out the hormones. It will also reduce uh, sebum production, so your skin will become less oily. And indeed, if you read the testimonials of people who've taken good levels of vitamin B5 to manage this, they will say that their skin tends to dry out. And I don't mean dry out as in become dehydrated, I mean reduce in levels of oiliness. So where they might have had oily skin all over or an excessively oily T-zone, their skin tends to go back into balance and become, you know, there's no dry patches, no oily patches, it's a normal, um, uh, normal skin condition. The other thing that you might notice is people with oily scalps or congested scalps, not with, like dandruff, but when there's a build-up in... Uh, a little bit like a build-up of excess oily scalp material. Um, 
it's like if you scratch your scalp like this and you look at your, um, your nails and there's like gunk under it, and that's what I'm talking about, and that is an overproduction of oil mixed with dead skin cells basically. And what happens is people who have tend to have overly oily skin also get uh, often, you know, their scalp is too oily and they get this kind of build up of gunk. So you wash your hair and you expect it to go away and it does but it builds up again. Or you use anti-dandruff shampoos thinking that it's dandruff but it's not so it just keeps going and keeps going. B5 will actually help reduce that oily scalp and also therefore reduce the build up of gunk. That's my technical term for the day. Um, let's look at the research. A study done in 1995, it had 95 participants, so not a huge study, but a reasonable size to actually get um, at least a medical hypothesis and an understanding of how um, B5 might work. It was used at very high doses um, and it showed really significant results with um, between one week and one month. Um, it also showed increased energy levels and uh, reduction in um, oiliness and reduction in acne lesions. Now, what I would say about this B5 alone, when you're just looking at B5, it is useful for acne that's associated with oily and congested skin. Now, the mechanism is that there's high androgens, high sebum, and therefore um, increased bacterial overgrowth and increased acne. If you don't have, you know, that sequence of events, if you've got skin that's dry with acne, well, it's not due to excess sebum production, so the B5 may not be of assistance in that case. However, this formula has some other ingredients that might be useful for um, acne where there's dry skin. It contains zinc, and zinc, of course, um, is very, very good for skin healing. It also reduces androgen production as well and supports the digestive system by supporting good hydrochloric acid levels. And what I find commonly is that people with acne that's just chronic and tends not to go away often have digestive issues as well. So if you can support the digestion in any way, you're more likely to support good elimination via the digestive system rather than the skin. It contains copper, nicotinamide or B3 as I said, and folic acid. And there was a study that was done looking at um, acne with those three ingredients. There was 198 patients and they measured the decrease in inflammation um, of lesions after four and eight weeks for all of those patients. There were some really good outcomes, and I'll just read these out to you. 79% of people reported an increase in appearance, as in their appearance was better or much better, so that was 79%. 55% reported moderate or substantial decreases in acne lesions. Um, and as the trial continued, the, increase in the percentage of people that had positive outcomes increased. So basically that means the longer they took the nutrients, the better the results were and the more people that got results. Interestingly, in this um, clinical trial, there was one arm of people who just took the nutrients, one arm of people that took nothing at all, and one arm of people that took the nutrients and oral antibiotics. And um, it showed that there was no increased result or no increased improvement with the nutrients and the oral antibiotics basically showing that the nutrients were doing the job by themselves and didn't need the oral antibiotics to improve the outcomes. And I thought that was really, really interesting and it shows that nutritional um, supplements and nutritional biochemistry can have a really powerful result without resorting to um, antibiotics. Uh, silica is another ingredient and that promotes skin healing and skin renewal and vitamin A finally supports skin immunity and has an anti-infective uh, or antibacterial effect due to the fact that it improves skin immunity. So um, that's that. I've been really impressed with Skin B5. Oops, I'll get it onto screen there. Um, really impressed with the outcome. Really impressed with um, the results of the people actually taking these for a good doses, uh, good doses and the therapeutic outcomes have been very, very positive. Remember, you need at least four to eight weeks, four weeks to show signs of good results and then eight weeks to keep going and then you'd go on a maintenance dose you wouldn't need to keep taking the high doses but yes taking the therapeutic dose in the first place is a good one um, is a good idea all right well thank you uh, for listening uh, that's skin b5 and if you look at the bottom down there you can see where to purchase skin b5 you can also see other reviews on organic nutrients for acne sorry organic skincare and organic nutrients for acne control um, and have a lovely day and I'll talk to you again soon.